All right, so just to reiterate, we're gonna do speed into crit into strength. All right, made it through. All right, we're pretty fucked. Yeah, let's do a quick inventory check. I think I have two scales, one scale, one candy. I don't think I missed any, right? <sighs> yeah, we can do me and shall rock smash. I guess delete aura sphere. Fake out rock smash is 32. That's not quite enough. Yeah, this is, it doesn't even speed tie it. It just completely underspeeds it and it's bold. So he gets a special attack. I think Hariyama is maybe the best one. What am I willing to sack today? Either of my poison types is fine to sack. Porygon is fine to sack. Zatu is fine to sack. I think. It's not great, but I think Hariyama sack would be okay. If we min roll both fake... Like, let's say we do average rolls. 11... 32... That's basically all min rolls. Croak always kills, right? Wait, no, this is at minus one. Never mind, this does 29. Croak doesn't do anything. I think it has to be me and Shao. And get lucky. What is this bait? Chinchino. If I don't get hit, it's always Chinchino tail slap. It calcs three hits, but everything else underspeeds me. It depends. If I, I guess like, yeah, he might see a slow kill with something, right? If I took a hit from Porygon, it's... Chinchino. But I could just take a Thunder Wave, right? After Rock Smashing. I think you just ha always have to go Torterra here. And then you get Chinchino, probably. Depends on your HP a little bit. Yeah, you can be full HP after with this matchup, or like at least high enough HP to... to bait Triple Axel. I was thinking something really f***ing weird here. If this Mian Shao is alive, can we go wall rain on this triple axel? Icy wind once. Yeah, you'll just get flinched, huh? This Pokemon. You kind of have to sack at this point. Magneton clutching up is so fictional, man. Why were people saying that a horse beats this? Horse clearly doesn't beat this. <laughs> yeah, if Magneton doesn't clutch up, you can probably go back to me and Fu. You just Thunder Wave, right? You don't Electro Web. Unless you need the damage. Maybe you need the damage. You kind of need the damage. No, you don't. You just T-Wave. I thought Thunder Wave always hit when you were an Electro type. But... I guess I'm just thinking of Toxic. Oh, it does. Yeah, the new Thunder Wave. Okay, Magneton somehow clutches up and kills this. Or me and Xiao does it somehow. And I have two slots. One to deal with Diggers B, although Torterra can do stuff here because it'll be reasonably high HP. Oh yeah, I have Crook Dally, right? What am I doing on Meloetta? We could get really fraudulent here. With Meganium Growl. But it's very unrealistic. So we can always get Torterra out of this Azumarill matchup with like 75% HP, right? Unless play rough attack drop on the switch in, in which case truck. Can't even get guaranteed Earthquake out of this. I just can't think of a way to deal with Diggersby is the problem. Minus defense turtle is just not him, man. Candy scale Meganium outspeeds this. And I mean, you just risk the crit on the body slam and you f***ing kill him. I don't know, man. Worst case, you're always getting one seed bomb off. Torterra will be at 75. You int him with Crook. You can expect to be at like 30% here. You could go Aurorus on the Relic Song. To get close combat. Zatu in on the close combat. And then just dodge the body slam range. And if you miss it, you clean up with... Me and Shell. Maybe. No, you don't. There has to be something here. There's something in this box that can do this. Yeah, we're just gonna lose on um on Chinchino is the unfortunate part. Cause Magneton basically has like 
two chances to clutch up. I think I just lose if I don't get this T wave off, right? I can't do this. Yeah, but me and Chow then just gets flinched, bro. I guess you vacuum wave twice. You fake out vacuum wave, vacuum wave. Dodge every single crit in the universe. And then you lose if Zato gets crit or misses or, or gets ranged. I think maybe it's just ball with a me and Xiao lead and hope for a f ton of stuff to go right, aka he doesn't try attack on turn one into Magneton doesn't get flinched into Meganium doesn't get crit into Zato doesn't get high rolled. Magneton needs to dodge two flinches. It's kind of bad. Let's get more creative with our leads. Let's throw the whole thing out. Obs, I like it. Let's get there ourselves. Full HP Toxicroak. Does in fact bait Mellow at a Zen Headbutt. I like it. And then we would Crocodile on the Zen Headbutt. To get the Intim. Do you then just beat it with Torterra? If you get the one Intim off. You do because you just spam Synth as he close combats you. Do you ever even kill him? Minus five. Okay. If we decide to call this... Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, so this is always using Relic Song. So give me... Give me a second here. So I should be able to get Diggersby Earthquake slow kill out of this. Um... Oh yeah, this is fast kill Pidgeot. Auroras take the kill. Random move Azumarill. Do the Torterra sh Then it's Meloetta. And I have one- then it's Chinchino and Diggersby in the back and I have one slot left with 75%. Torterra and a Crook who took a Relic Song and probably has no item because of that. I could then sack Toxicroak to Chinchino and then just go to Mianxiao and hard dodge a crit. It's not even crit, it's actually kind of safe. And then it's just Diggersby left who is actually slower than me and Xiao, so he's kind of likely to quick attack on this switch, depending on what HP I'm left, but I'm pretty low at this point. And then I have to beat this with Crocodile and Torterra. I mean, Crook will have taken one Relic Song for way too much, and he needs Chesto. Crocodile Sack is not exactly ideal. What's the most realistic HP for me and Xiao to be at? Probably like 45, right? Which means he wouldn't quick attack. Which means you could hyper fraud him. <laughs> it's never gonna happen, but... This this box is okay with a Crocodile death, assuming I can get Drapion. I don't have Desert Underpass, so chance is low. And I'm probably Magnet Pulling in Tower. The kind of nice thing about this is I'm using zero candy, zero scale. It's really hard to control how much HP I'm going to be at with me and Xiao after killing this. Which makes it really hard for Crocodile to survive. I'm not going to lie, this is kind of reasonable. If I want to... I can go Oran on me and Xiao... To make quick attack from this more likely. Wait, no, I'm never getting quick attack from this. Plus he can never see that I have kill anyway because he has Sash. Okay, so this is never quick attack on the switch so that dream is just dead. Oh yeah, if you're dead at QA, he will click it, you're right. It's just fast kill. Okay. Can we just sack my Porygon on his Porygon? How much damage do we need? Quite a bit, right? Yeah, he's gonna recover. You kinda need to do something that actually does half HP, so you're probably sacking Hariyama, if anything. That's unfortunate. Toxie has to be full HP for this to work, right? Does it? What HP can Toxie reasonably be at? Like, if this doesn't have download, uh, it doesn't quite work out. I was thinking maybe you can switch into Ice Beam and still bait Zen Headbutt, but... It does a little bit too much. I think it's gotta be Hariyama Sack. Make sure that he's low enough that Brick Break kills him, or fake out into Brick Break. Play it from there. Kill with Toxie. Bates and Headbutt. Go Crook. Chesto, ba Chesto Berry. Click Bulldoze. Tank the Relic Song. He goes Pirouette. 
minus one speed. He always clicks close combat. We go back to Toxie. We never get crit because we're goaded like that. And then he's minus one defense, minus one speed, and he's taking a bulldoze so we can just kill with brick break. He goes Pidgeot, we go Aurorus, we win. He goes Azumarill, we go Torterra, we win. He goes this. And then Toxie balls Omega hard with Citrus Berry. Tanks the Triple Axle. Goes Fake Out, goes Sucker Punch. Mian Shao comes in, goes Fake Out, goes Vacuum Wave. Kills this. He goes Diggersby. Um, and then depending on your Crook HP, you either risk the crit on Crook. Or you risk the high roll on me and Xiao, I think. No candies, no scales. We're going in raw. It's okay guys, we scale. Just two more sacks and then we scale for sure. We're gonna hit Excadrilla Mirage Tower, it's gonna be sick. All will be forgiven. We have Asper Berry in case he freezes me with Tri Attack here. All we want to do is soften this up so that Toxicroak can kill it. So we're going to knock off the Eviolite. We get Perma Parrot here, which would really, really suck, but... Okay. Alright, now the question is, Guts boosted Rock Smash. Can I kill him accidentally? 63 on the max. Looks like we should be fine. Wait, that's with Eviolite. We need to stop attacking immediately. We need to do just a little bit more damage. Knockoff should be completely fine. I think Toxic Rook is arranged to kill this if I don't get a little bit more damage off. Nice. Okay, now we just spam Fake Out until he kills me. See ya, Hari. Not a single full para from this f***ing legend. Brick Brick always kills from here. It's not minus one, it's just missing the Eviolite. light. Brick Brick does 55 minimum, there's no reason to fake out. Alright, so this is all to set up this the toxic crook being full hp so that we can bait in exactly meloetta's and headbutt so we can go crocodile get the intim in he doesn't go pirouette for him yet because he's forced to send headbutt on a fast kill Okay, now he's forced to Relic Song because he sees no kills. We have Chesto Bear if he puts me to sleep. We're going to Bulldoze for a speed drop. Yep. That's a really good roll. Okay. Now he's in Pirouette form, minus one attack. He always sees kill with close combat and only with close combat. We can go back to Toxicroak. He's minus one speed. He's minus one attack. Dodging crit here is very important to preserve the line. Don't do it. Cool. Now he's minus one defense as well. And because Bulldoze, I believe, did 22, I'm pretty sure Brick Break just always outspeeds and kills. We again have no reason to fake out. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So this should be Pidgeot. Because it sees a fast kill. I don't 
don't think Mancino sees any fast kills because he calcs at three hit instead of five hit. All right, time to dodge some confusion. We have the best Pidgeot counter, arguably, maybe in the game. Don't get confused. Don't do it. Good. Hyper Voice always kills with Never Melt Ice. He's always clicking HP Grass. We're never dead to crit. Fifty-seven HP. Should be a Zoomeril. A random move. What a god this guy is. Alright, Torterra, you're next in clutching up. Minus defense, 6 HP IV Torterra. Let her rip. It doesn't really matter if it's play rough or waterfall here, but if it's play rough attack drop, there's some wonky sh that can happen. Okay. Don't drop. Good. Okay. <clears throat> that was like a max roll. Yep, exactly a max roll. So we're gonna Giga Drain here, and then we should get out of kill range. Locking him into Aqua Jet because we're faster and have kill. It kind of depends if he attack drops or not though. And what this roll is. That fucking works. That fucking works, boys. Okay. That gives us potentially a better Digger's Beam. Alright, just one more sack. This is always Triple Axle. Toxic Croaker, you're next on the sack list here, unfortunately. He will survive this. And then die. We're gonna have to think how we're gonna do the Digger's B from here. But... Let's go here first. So this is Skill Link Chinchino with King's Rock. So you kinda have to fraud this. As we're about to. If he misses this next one, it's... It doesn't really matter. Okay. All right, we fake out. And now Sucker Punch into me and Xiao, fake out, vacuum wave always kills. There's no way for him to save himself here. We need the extra damage from Sucker Punch. We want to kill with Mian Xiao, so we can't do any like insanely ball hard things here. Like, Mian Xiao would live if I went tail if if uh, if I went in on a tail slap and he doesn't crit at all. But I don't have the ranges to kill this. I can't really switch to anything else. Yep, I have to sucker. Sorry, Toxie. You were goaded, man. You were goaded. It's your purpose to die on the Norman fight, my friend. And not be a Primarina. <laughs> okay, so now we go here. And I believe... Fake out. And to vacuum wave will always kill. Okay, this is the interesting part. We have a f almost full HP Torterra. So, Mian Xiao can kill this with Drain Punch into Vacuum Wave. We're dead to only one Earthquake roll. He's always clicking Earthquake. Obviously, we're also dead to Earthquake crit. Mian Xiao is insanely valuable. We have some options. Crocodile after Intimidate 
is only dead to earthquake crit, which gives us an intim angle. If I go hard toward Terra, can I win? He can body slam Para the turtle, which is really bad. I can still find a wipe angle here if I switch to Torterra. I recover 32 minimum, which is the maximum he can do with Earthquake. He can still kill me. If the rolls are not in my favor with Torterra, I can switch back to me and Shao and basically have the same risk that I had before, except you add Body Slam Para to the list of risks, which is why I was saying we can find a wipe angle. I think it's okay. We are missing 2 HP, which is kind of crucial. But if this Earthquake doesn't roll well, he doesn't find Body Slam Para. We heal off all the Earthquake damage. There's a lot of angles to win, and if I don't, then we go me and Xiao and just risk the Para, I think. Maybe? If I get Parrot on that switch, I think I wipe. Well, I can still clutch, right? Because I've gotten off at least a Giga Drain. Uh, I'd have to fake, fake out into Vacuum Wait, Wait, no. Yeah, I would just... I could I could still kill him. The Body Slam Para isn't even that likely because he can also foul play on the switch from Torterra. I think this is correct. I only lose two bad rolls into Body Slam Para into... Yeah, and then we just wipe, I guess. No, because we can still int him and then... Uh, well, I guess we technically don't wipe, but... Let's do it. Show me a good roll. One thirty-two to ninety-three. Was that forty-nine? No, thirty-nine. That's a medium roll. I think I shouldn't have done this. It's too late. Don't do it. Okay. It's a really high roll. I think I always win now, unless Body Slam full para. If it's Body Slam full para, we, we can still go me and Shell. Yeah, you can never kill me. Max rolls, foul play for 74. I think this was maybe bad, I'm not sure yet. You'd have to do the math on the rolls, but whatever. We win. <sighs> Pretty good for what we had. Pretty f***ing good for what we had. Toxicroak and uh, Hariyama both have a ton of overlap with me and Shao. Hariyama is obviously kind of hard to replace because it's a guts user and everything, but... Considering what we had, this was definitely the safest fight. There was one fight where I don't stack anything and I, lo and I use like a candy and a scale. Um, and I risk basically the whole run on a 25%, but... I don't play like that. I don't f***ing lose to Norman, man! I don't lose to him!